This is a giant 3D printed gearbox. It has a gear ratio of 1 to 1296. If we spin the first gear, the last gear will spin extremely fast. But how fast can it go? If you've been following my YouTube channel, you know I've been experimenting with a lot of different gearbox designs. Let's see how fast we can get this design to go. I'm incorporating some new design features that I've learned from past projects. One of them being a larger handle is pretty much always better. I also found the best way to attach the handle to the axle, but more on that later. The 3D printed handle has extra walls for strength and a higher density infill. Each gear is a compound gear with 120 teeth on the outside and 20 teeth on the inside. The first gear is designed to be extra strong because it'll need to handle a ton of torque. The base of the gearbox is rather large so it took a good amount of time to 3D print. I forgot to turn off the automatic support material so I had to remove supports from these holes. Normally this wouldn't be needed. Unchecking one checkbox in my slicer would have saved me a lot of hassle. Smaller holes were easier to fix because I could precisely drill them out. Transferring the torque between the handle and the main drive gear has been one of the most challenging aspects of these gearboxes. To secure the gearbox to the table, I'll simply be screwing it in. In hindsight, it would have been much easier to screw it in if I didn't put the holes so close to the walls. Here you can see how I'm connecting both the gear and the handle to the axle shaft. As you'll see, this connection is incredibly strong. This is very similar to my previous design, but instead of using a brass rod, I'm using a much beefier aluminum rod. Now you may have noticed this additional gear. This extra gear is to help transfer the torque from the main gear to the rest of the gears in the gearbox. This will help reduce the chance of the gear teeth slipping. So now the power is transferred from the main gear to two separate gears, so we have two contact points. And these two gears connect back to the next gear with two contact points. And this is only needed at the front side of the gearbox where there's going to be an extreme amount of torque. After assembling everything, I noticed another critical issue. The handle could get caught on the table. This required completely disassembling the entire thing and moving the gearbox over just about 10 millimeters. Here's where I encountered my next roadblock. The gearbox is incredibly difficult to spin. And I think this is because the gears were meshed too tightly together. So to solve this, I added a little bit more backlash to the tiny gear. This should greatly reduce the friction for the entire gearbox. With this fix, I reprinted the gears and reassembled the entire gearbox.
The pin for the main drive gear kept slipping out, so I soldered it into place. Let's try this again. Also you may notice that the last gear is not spinning. This is because with the addition of the last gear it was practically impossible to spin. So technically we're testing the speed of the second to last gear. For each design iteration, I discover a new failure point for each one of the different gearbox designs. But let's see how fast we were able to get this design to go. After reviewing the footage, I calculated the rotational speed to be over 4000 RPM. This means that each gear tooth for the last gear is spinning about 83 miles per hour, or roughly 133 kilometers per hour. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to see my other gearbox designs and speed tests, check out my most popular videos on my YouTube channel. And if you want to find unique, interesting things to 3D print, I have a bunch of designs on my website. I also have a few online courses you can check out if you want to learn how to design and 3D print your own things. And as a thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, I'll put a special discount code in the description of this video. This discount code will probably expire sometime in the future. Thanks for watching and happy printing! And this is the world's longest 3D printed sword.